Hello, readers, and thank you for joining me again for another lesson on comparative and superlative endings. This is lesson number three in our unit, and as you know, we've been learning how to write words and when to use specific words when comparing either two things or three or more, or just talking about one thing in general. But before we get started on that, I do want to do a little bit of review like we have been doing re this week. And this week we're going to look, or today we're going to look at some of our R-controlled vowels. Now, R-controlled vowels are vowels that have an R with it, and it makes an R sound. Now, some of these, and you're going to see today, make the exact same sound. Um, and so um, we're going to look at the different ways that sound is spelled, and we're going to learn how to spell those as well, or review how to spell those at R as well. So first we have O-A-R, which says or can you say or then we have ore which says or again then we have or which says i know or again see if this one does ar and what does that say R. That's right. It does not say or. It says R. So those are the four that we've already learned this year. There are others, but we haven't gotten to those yet. But let's look at these four for today. And we're actually we're going to practice blending some. But first, like we always do, let's practice writing them. So get out your pencil and paper or your whiteboard and marker, whatever you're using today, and let's practice writing them. So we're going to write them three times each. And every time we write it, I want you to say the sound it makes. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with O-A-R. Let's write it and say OR. 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 Next, let's do O-R-E. Or. 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 Next, let's do the other or. O-R. Let's do that three times. Or, 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 and last, let's do the one that's not an or, let's do R, A-R, R, 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 very good. Thanks for practicing those with me. Now we're going to practice blending some words that have those specific um, R-controlled vowels in them. So are you ready to get started? Let's go ahead and get started. Sound. F. Sound. R. Put that together. Far. Hold that. Far. Hmm. Farm. 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 Sound. B. Sound. Or. Put that together. Born. Born. B. Born. Born. Next. Sound, Rrr. sound, or, put that together, roar, but not right now. Next, sound, t, sound, or, put that together, tor. Sound, sh, sound, r. Put that together, shark, 
shark. 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 I hope I don't see a shark in the water. Sound. F. Sound. Or. Put that together. Thorn. Thorn. Th. Or. N. Thorn. Roses have a thorns on them. Sound. B. Sound. Or. Put that together. Board. Board. Your teacher writes stuff on the board. Sound. Ch. Sound. Or. Put that together. Chore. Ch. Or. You may have a chore to do at home. Let's review some sounds that we've already learned this year. St. Nt. Tur. Nk. Ch. And we know ed makes three sounds. It can say d. Id. U, A, E, O. Now, let's get to our comparative and superlative endings. Now, let's go over this together. When you use an adjective, which is a describing word, you add ER when you compare two things, and you add EST if you're comparing three or more. If the word ends with a Y, you change that Y to a I. And then you add the ending. If it ends with an E, you drop the E, you lose it, and then you add the ER or EST. If it ends, if it's a one syllable word and it ends with a vowel and a consonant, you double that consonant before adding the inflected endings. Now, we're going to practice this three different ways today. One, we're going to identify the word that we would use when we're comparing. Two, we're going to see if we can use it correctly in a sentence. We can pick out which one we should use. And third, we're going to see if we can spell that ending on the different words I show you. So let's get started while we have time. So if I'm doing the word high and I'm going to compare two people, what do I add? ER. So high becomes higher. If I'm comparing it to three or more people, I add EST. So high becomes highest. Ooh, look what I did this time. Smartest, smart, smarter. When do I use smartest? How many of my people, how many am I comparing? Three or more. That's right. What if I'm just using the word smart? He is so smart. How many people am I talking about? Just one person. And what if I'm using the word smarter? Two people. That's right. Next, let's do a sentence. This is a blank apple. Red, redder, reddest. So you look at the picture. There's only one apple. And if I want to compare one thing, which one should I use? Red. That's right. Now look at this picture. This is the blank apple. Red, redder, reddest. Which one should I use? I see one, two, three, four apples. That sounds like three or more. Which one should I use? Reddest. This is the reddest apple. This is the blank elephant. Again, which one do I use? Large, larger, largest. Let's look at how many elephants are in the picture. I see one, two. It's pointing at this one since I'm only comparing two things. And two things means I end in ER. I would choose larger. What about this? This is the blank elephant. Large, larger, largest. Do I use larger again? Let's count the elephants. One, two, three. If it's three or more, which one do I use? Largest. That's right. Now, let's see if you can tell me how to spell the word. So if I have the word um, little and I'm comparing three or more people, 
what do I do? I see the word little ends with E. And I know if it ends with E, I do what? I drop it. And if it's three or more people, I add EST. So little becomes L I T T L E S T, littlest. And if it's just two people, again, I drop the E and I add E R. So little er is L I T T L E R. Very good. What about the word happy? I hope you're happy today. If I'm comparing the word with happy, happy ends with a Y. Is there a special rule for Y? There is. I change the Y to a I, and then I add the ending. If it's two people, what's my special ending? ER. So happier would be H A P P I E R. That's right. But if I'm comparing three or more people, again, I change that Y to a I. And then if I'm comparing three, I use EST. That's right. So it's H A P P I E S T. And that's the last one for today. I bet you're the happiest when this time is over and it's time to read a book. I hope so. Guys, I, thanks for showing up again today. This was the end of lesson three, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy reading.